got a few emails and uh, it has been expressed to me that people are not necessarily happy about me exposing why you see Canelo Alvarez on all these urban platforms. It seemed to have pissed people off in a special kind of way. Don't get mad at me because I broke down what is. The truth is just the truth. You can get offended all you want. Some people say, well, you know, he's just promoting and all this other stuff. And, you know, it's nothing different. He doesn't need them and all that other stuff. And I'm going to put it like this. If that's the case, and Canelo Alvarez, 70-something, some odd fights, when has he ever needed to go this route? As established as Canelo is, when does he ever need to go this route? And most, and most importantly, why are y'all trying to sell to a demographic in which y'all say don't buy boxing? That's because it is exactly what I said it is. Um, Berlanga doesn't have a country behind him, so the urban community is being substituted for that. I don't care how much you want to get upset about it. It's just the factual truth. You know, you can't sell this fight to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? And he doesn't have a country behind him. So you have to sell him to the urban community. And they say, well, you know, Ortiz is heavily involved with the community and all this stuff like that. Since when does you need the urban community to sell a Mexican and Puerto Rican rivalry? Let me say that again. Since when did you need the urban community to sell a Mexican and Puerto Rican rivalry? That rivalry has already been built into boxing. The only thing that you should have to do is say Puerto Rican against Mexican, and that should be enough. But for some reason with this fight, it's not enough. And why do you think that is? That's because you can't convince people that he has a country behind him because he don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to sell him to Brooklyn. Yeah, you got to go down the urban route. You have to do this. You know what I'm saying? It's not just Canelo expanding his wings. He could have been done something like this. Canelo could have been speaking English. It, it was never necessary for him to be who he is and to get to where he's gotten. But in this case, with this kind of fight, since he's not giving you what you want, since it is hard to sell, then he's going to have to sell it that way. You know? And like I said, it wasn't all the way a bad move. You know what I'm saying? I said Canelo got a good team. At least Canelo team can recognize that the urban community is starting to pick up boxing and they not putting it down you know what i'm saying and therefore that can elevate the sport uh to a whole new level and let me say this while while i'm at it because people keep talking about the face of boxing and it's not tank the face of boxing really is tank because at the end of the day who was the one that brought all the celebrities in who the one that got the celebrities to even pay attention to boxing that was ushered in through tank nobody else Nobody else can take credit to that. Who had more celebrities show up to their fight than Tank did? Tank was the one that started to get these celebs and stuff to tune in and come to these fights and start talking. Tank started this, you know? So when it comes to the face of boxing, I would say the face of boxing is the one who can bring the most well-known faces to the sport, and that is Tank. So basically, these avenues that y'all seeing explored now, you know what I'm saying, is due to Tank and the other uh, advantage that we getting that's coming from, you know, uh, Dubai and all that from from the Middle East with uh, with uh, Turkey Al Sheik and all that stuff. Well, who do you have to thank who opened up the door for that? Anthony Joshua. That's going to be a different video for a different day. I just wanted to pinpoint it in this video right here. But yeah, that's exactly what it is. And it is what it is. You have to do this route because you're really not giving the people what they want at the end of the day and you're trying to sell Edward Berlanga who was actually uh, underdeveloped at this point on all ends uh, from a from a promotional standpoint and from just from a technical standpoint as far as skills he's not developed yet on on a lot of levels so you're gonna have to do what you're gonna have to do uh, to sell this fight because if the Puerto Rican community was behind him you, you wouldn't have to go the urban route yes no I think so. So you guys could get mad, but I'm just breaking down what is. And it's more like you mad that I'm exposing what is and bringing light and opening up people's ears and eyes to what's actually going on. Because I didn't like the fact that it was looked at as Canelo's trying to do something that he's really not trying to do. You know what I'm saying? I understand the uh, strategic side of the whole thing. And you mad because I blew the skirt up on that. I mean, you can go ahead and do it. I mean, say what you want to say, but don't ever call me a liar. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.